Hello guys, Dello304 here, and here is just a quick video of my Dell Latitude E6400 booting up. I have the 14Z over here now, um, and then that computer, the Optiplex right there, like it always was. But here's the E6400. I'm sorry about my camera making it a little darker than it is. It's kind of weird that it does that. I noticed that it has different sort of looking video. But, um, yeah, the screen looks really pixely and not good on my camera. I don't know why. It just doesn't take LCDs very good. But the rest looks fine. Anyway, here's my Dell Latitude E6400. Um, it's a very nice laptop. There it is. Dell e Latitude E6400. Um, so, I just wanted to give you guys a quick video. It is up and running. Uh, we can go ahead and go around it again, I guess. Um, right here we have the 14.1 inch screen, 1280 by 800. Yeah, LCDs look terrible on this camera, but the rest is fine. Anyway, um, we have the Dell logo, the webcam up there. I can't get the webcam to work, uh, which is weird because uh, I installed Windows 7 or 64-bit on here. As far as I know, there's no webcam drivers for Windows 7 64. So hopefully I get that working someday. Um, maybe I might, I might not. Uh, but it would be nice if I got that webcam working. Oh, uh, here he has some indicators for um, what you might call it: hard drive, battery, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. I don't even know if this thing has Bluetooth, but the Bluetooth light is on, which is weird. And then sim or the uh, 3G, right there. And then we have keyboard indicators, some volume thingies. I don't, really don't need the light. I have the light on auto light setting, but I don't need it. Then you have the power button. We have the nice keyboard, which is not worn at all. Well, not 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 like there's barely any. You can see there's barely anywhere on the keys, if not, if any. Uh, even on the space bar, you can see it's like almost brand new. So that's cool. Touchpad is a little bit of a different story. It's got somewhere you can see the light reflection a little bit more. See how it's very dull on that. It's kind of shiny on here. So the touchpad has a little bit of wear, but it's nothing terrible. Um, there's the stickers, Core 2 Duo and Windows Vista. Windows Vista got a little dirt or sticky residue right there, but... Oh, I can get that off. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I know, I don't clean my nails regularly. Don't comment about it, please. I'll clean them after this video, actually. Um, speakers are really nice on the on the laptop. Um, it's really... They sound pretty good. They sound even better than the 14Zs. Maybe. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. They're just... They're different sort of speakers. Those are front firing while these are on each side of the keyboard. Um, on this side of the laptop, we have... Well, I turn on the light. We have two... Well, okay, hold on. We have two USB 2.0s. We have the wireless indicator, or the wireless switch there. If I flip that, it'll turn the Wi-Fi off. And if I flip it back, it'll turn it right back on. Um, I believe this is the Wi-Fi catcher button right there. I'm not sure. But, um, and then down there we have a headphone and a microphone. We have the DVD-ROM drive right here. I'm going to upgrade this to a DVD-RW sometime in the near future. I don't even really use optical discs um, that much anymore. We have an express card there. A IEEE 1394 or mini Firewire SD card reader. There, it's a five-in-one. Uh, there's just the Dell Dell dummy in there right now. So, yeah. And then also, um, whoops. Also right here, we have a contactless smart reader. Wow, it just detected the Core 2 Duo sticker as a face. That's funny. Um, we have a contactless smart card reader here, so as far as I know, if you have the drivers installed or whatever, you could just tap your smart card right there and it'll it'll do its thing. Um, with the latch right here, as you can see, I push this in, it moves that little thing. The latch is, latch is metal. This computer is mainly magnesium. This part is magnesium, this part is plastic. So it's a combination of magnesium and plastic. So that's cool. Um, on this side, we have the smart card reader slot. We have a hard drive bay, a cooling fan, which I cleaned already, VGA, and US powered USB, so you can plug like your iPod in and charge it when, you're, when the computer is off. And then we have a USB slash eSATA. And then if I can get to it, I highly doubt I can, but um, back here we just have a modem. Well, no modem actually. There's no modem port right there. 
Um, we have a screw for the hinge, which I did have to tighten, but it's all tied up now. We have a gigabit ethernet, which is cool, the battery. And then over here, we just have the power and the um, display port right there. Um, I did switch with my mom on the uh, power cord, so now we have the little blue light on the power cord. I have a legitimate PA4E power brick instead of the PA10. It does the same thing. I just like the little blue light. Um, the, what was I going to say? The power jack is pretty loose, actually. Uh, you can see I can wiggle it all around, uh, which is not good, but um, the laptop is fine on the power. It's not losing any connection if, when, I wriggle, when I wiggle it around. And I know what that's from. That's from people putting stress on the power cord all of a sudden, all the time. But um, that, that shouldn't be a problem. I'm very gentle on it. As you can see, I have it across the desk there. So it sh I shouldn't have any problems with that. And then, yeah, the back was a kind of scratched, not really. Uh, I did have some noticeable scratching, as you can see. Oh, I can... I don't know if I can put it out, like right there there's a scratch, but uh, it has like small scratches on it, very small, very uh, in, let's see, in the, uh, very unimportant, that's the word. Um, so yeah, it's running Windows 7 Home Premium, I did a live stream not too long ago, thank you for those who watched, I think about maybe 25, 30 different people, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, different people watched, so that's cool. Uh, my Windows Experience Index that needs to be refreshed. I don't know why I didn't install any new hardware. Probably because I installed Service Pack 1. Anyway, it's running Windows 7, Service Pack 1. We got an Intel Core 2 Duo P8400, 2.26 gigahertz, 2 gigs of memory, which I am going to upgrade on Monday. I ordered some memory yesterday for it, and it'll be here Monday the 30th, so that's cool. Uh, it's a 64-bit operating system. I, I'm upgrading to 4 gigs, so I just I decided to put 64-bit on here. It doesn't run the greatest. It's not the fastest in the world right now. Um, it's it's still pretty fast. It just feels sluggish at times, and I know why because there's the minimum amount of memory installed. So I'm going to double it, and it's going to be much faster. But there's my scores: 5.7, 5.5, 4.1, 3.4, and 5.4. So I'm mostly fives, which is cool. Uh, let me go ahead. And Refresh this crap. I took about a good, I took a good couple hours to set this thing up, install all my programs and stuff, and pretty much migrate everything I had on my 14Z, which wasn't really a whole lot. But um, yeah, I'm just running the WEI there. So there's my Dell Attitude E6400. Here's my 14Z. It's now over here. So yeah. Yep. So that's that. Uh, this is 16 by 9 widescreen, and this is 16 by 10, I believe. So this is a little more widescreen, but it doesn't matter. I don't really care about that. And uh, one more thing, a little lip on the on the 14Z. I don't real. I'm very torn on that. It, it's it's very different, and it it's good design and everything. But I am more used to just regular laptop hinge design. So yeah. Anyway. Uh, I still love my 14Z and everything. I'm just going to be using it much less and probably cleaning it less often. I'll be using this for uh, one, the one game I play, which is GTA San Andreas, and I'm going to be using this for school because I really don't care if I beat this laptop up. I'm going to be using this laptop for main use and travel. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's just a quick video of the DE6400 up and running, all with when everything installed and everything. So, yeah, like to thank you guys for watching the video, and see you guys later.